Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Red Technology. So today we are going to discuss how to install Windows 10 operating system on MacBook. This is quite very simple step and uh, you only need a USB drive on which you have to copy the iOS of Windows 10 and you have to copy it on locally on your Mac and you can go ahead without, without any third party software. The only important thing is which you required is internet connectivity. So first of all, uh, copy the ISO file on pen drive and connect it with the Mac machine where you are going to um, install the operating system Windows 10. So once you copy it on the desktop of that system, you can uh, run through the next step. Uh, open the bootcamp assistant from your applications. Then click on <coughs> download Windows support assistant. Choose the location and save it. So I'm saving it on default location. This is basically battery error, so I'm not connecting it because I have enough battery now. So now it's uh, downloading the Windows support software from the internet, which will take some time. And uh, once it's completed, uh, your system will be restarted. So make sure that you save everything while running this process. And uh, after uh, restart, you will able to see the installation part of uh, Windows 10. So once the system will be restarted, you can see this option where you have to choose the uh, options for installation of operating system. So I'm going to install Windows 10 Pro, click on next. And on the next step, choose the uh, accept the license agreement. Click next and choose the bootcamp partition only for the installation of operating system 10. Click next. So Windows installation has been started, it's copying the files, then uh, installation will happen and uh, it will take some time for the installation and depends on the configuration of your Mac. Once a uh, file will be, will be copied and installation will be completed, it will initialize it and uh, <clears throat> and it will ask for the restart. Click on restart. Now uh, it's running with the Windows 10. So initial configuration will take some time. All the drivers and everything will happen there and it will be uh, configured automatically on your Mac. So next it will configure automatically everything. We have to select the region. Select it and click next. It will ask for the keyboard layout. I'm going to select the default one and I'm not going to add any another keyboard there. I'm not going to select any network as of now because it will otherwise it will download the updates from internet. So I'm going to create a local account which is admin. Blank password and uh, clicking on no i don't need this option digital assistant and here i'm not going to choose location and advertise id uh, basically i don't need these details so i'm just disabling it so it will take some time uh, for the initial configuration So once the system will be restarted, it will give you the option to select the operating system. So uh, after restart, you have to press option key uh, on the startup. It will show um, the both drives where you have installed the Mac operating system and Windows 10 operating system. Select the required drives and you can start. Them. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel Red Technology.